Well, as we told you earlier in this show, R&B singer and songwriter R. Kelly has been indicted on 10 charges of aggravated sexual abuse. Investigators allege the incidents happened over a 12-year span, with three of the victims being under the age of 17 at the time. The Grammy Award winner is denying the allegations, saying he's shocked by the charges, calling them baseless. He is expected to appear in court Saturday morning. Now, to discuss more, we're joined now by music contributor for Exclaim Magazine, A Harmony. Thank you so much for being with us. Thanks for having me. So, I want to talk about these allegations that, that really have dogged R. Kelly for years. And, you know, he already uh, um, was acquitted of a pornography charge in 2008, that infamous tape uh, of allegedly him with a, a, an underage girl. Um, since then, since there have been so many more allegations. How has he been able to escape this for so long? Well, R. Kelly's uh, alleged sexual misconduct has been an open secret in the music industry since his career started. Um, he's done a good job of creating this kind of safe space for him to actually uh, act out these, these acts of abuse. Um, it's become a joke. Um, people have made comedy sketches about it. He's even uh, poked fun at the allegations himself, dubbing himself the Pied Piper of R&B. That creates an environment that makes it really difficult for victims to speak out against him. Yeah, do you think that the fact that he beat those charges in 2008 almost uh, emboldened him? I mean, these are allegations, but do you think that kind of made it easier to, to feel like... Uh, you know, I'm above the law. More than likely, he came very close to being punished and brought to justice for these crimes and then beat the charges and then started dubbing himself the Pied Piper of R&B and really flaunting uh, these allegations uh, in, in the public's face. So I do think it kind of made him feel more powerful and enabled him a little. There are lots of people who have worked with him, collaborated with him. Lady Gaga uh, only recently kind of spoke about how she, she you know, regretted collaborating with him. Do you do you think that there were lots of people who excused his behavior or his, these allegations because of his success and his talent? I think so. And I think it was really easy to separate his private life and the things that he does in his private life from his music. But we're in a different era now. Um, we have public forums like Twitter, for instance, where people can voice their outrage in real time. And I think that's uh, created a, an environment of more pressure uh, for some of his collaborators. And it's... it's um, led people to speak out against them. Do you think the culture has changed, the Me Too movement? We're seeing small culture shifts, and I think that has to do with uh, this uh, history of abuse being back in the public conversation. Now, he was recently dropped by his label, and that was just a couple of weeks after a, a bombshell documentary that really started to uncover and, and detail some of these allegations. Uh, well, we don't know if they're directly connected, um, but it, was, it did bring this back into the conversation. Do you think this uh, uh, documentary, Surviving R. Kelly, had anything to do with these charges? I mean, it's likely. It did bring these allegations back to light. It put a spotlight on them and it brought them back to the public conversation. And it sparked uh, public outrage and the pressure has started to mount to actually take R. Kelly to tasks for these actions. Mm -hmm. What do you think this will mean moving forward for other celebrities, other artists? Uh, do you think that we'll see more of this? He's such a huge star. He's a Grammy Award winning uh, singer, songwriter. He's had such a huge career. Um, we might. We're starting to see small ripples in the music industry as a direct effect of public outrage against R. Kelly. So his shows have been canceled. He's been dropped from his label. We've also started to see companies like Spotify actually question their own policies against misconduct. And mm. we've seen that short-lived, um, probably short-sighted, hateful conduct um, policy that they came out with. But since then, they've actually implemented a measure to allow fans to mute R. Kelly and other artists that they don't want to support. So I think in the face of that kind of public pressure, we might start to see a shift in the culture. Really quickly before we run out of time, when we saw other black celebrities like Bill Cosby and O.J. Simpson, uh, there was a lot of division in the community. Do you think and have you seen that kind of division with R. Kelly? I have seen that kind of division, uh, especially in the past. Um, but now I think because we're seeing slow culture shifts that um, people are starting to become more unified and see that, OK, we really need to get him out the pain. Right. There was this feeling that we're, we're bringing down black celebrities, um, but... There used to be, but I think we're now seeing how heinous these actions really are. And he seems to actually be escalating as well. And I think there's more concern now than there was before. All right. Well, we're going to have to leave it there. Thanks so much for chatting with us. Thanks for having me.